Hello, so uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to add data from model and display it into your this drop down. So, I have already uh, coded the code, but I will show you and explain the code in this video. So, let me go to a browser. So, first of all, First of all, to save by Ajax, uh, you need to uh, define a route. I'm using it in Laravel. Then method your post, method type. Then take your data in a variable as object uh, in jQuery. Then on Ajax success, hide your model, reset value of model. I don't need this model then append append your uh, added value value id and name to state underscore author and this is my drop down name as you can see this is my drop down uh, this is my drop down id so what I did is uh, after in success I hide in, I hide my model and then the set model value. Then in my drop down, I have uh, appended the uh, value coming from controller that is ID and name. Let me go to the odd, uh, controller. As you can see. A value is uh, coming and I have saved it to author table then I have returned value uh, as sta uh, status so uh, in my field the value is coming from controller is ID and name so let me show you that first of all this right zone to uh, nine 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 email zone at the red email dot com and that is Sydney. So let me save that. As you can see, this is a, another. I will explain about this also. This is a, a sweet alert JS. As you can see in drop down, there is a zone to Let me add another one. Uh, Marvel. Uh, Captain Iron Man Iron at the rate in similar.com and New York as you can see it's on my showing in my drop down I know uh, there is and also if you notice that there is no page reload uh, what I did what I am doing is uh, appending so there is no page reload so another thing in this uh, tutorial you can see is there is a sweet alert to add a sweet alert uh, you need to go to this site called sweet alert.js and there is a uh, you can add you need to add this script script and there is a documentation of how to use it also uh, let me show that uh, add that JS into your header file because if you add this JS file into your folder then it might not work because I'm having some issue I used to have some issues so I'm always adding my sweet all of the JS into my header file uh, so that's it for this video this is uh, how you append uh, your drop down value to your model value Personally, added model value to your drop down.